I'm Javon Bridges, or Evie Oddly. Um, I'm a club manager at a nightclub that's gay. And then I'm also a drag queen. <laughs> Drag wasn't ever something that I just started thinking about. It, it's just something I've always, I guess, been attracted to. Like, I always wanted to paint my nails. I always wanted to put on makeup. Well, I fell in love with, like, doing drag after I played a dead hooker on Halloween in high school with my mom as my pimp. <laughs> uh, but, like, I didn't really reapproach it again until I was an adult and had come out and had started, like, seeing queens on the scene. For 2015, your ultimate queen winner, Evie Oddly. Ultimate Queen this is just like a competition for elevating yourself and for getting your name out there. And if you win, you get a spot in Drag Nation, which is the nation's largest drag show. I just love it because like at your best in drag, when you feel your best, it's because you've spent so much time and put so much energy into it. And you can like see the effect it has on people around you. Like if you spent weeks like painting specific nails and gluing rhinestones or cutting up an outfit and you walk out to the club, which is our space as queer people, it's, it's the place where we've been forced to hide in the dark and therefore thrive. If you can walk into that space and light up a room, then it's just really gratifying to know that like these things that you care about is making other people's night brighter. That's all I want to do is just pass on more art. So many people feel comfortable in one certain thing that they've been doing, and I've only ever felt comfortable if I was trying something new every day. Drag is the artistic voice for our queer community right now. We've been told we're too effeminate, you're too sissy, like all of these stereotypes are so built into what we have as a social identity. Drag pokes fun at all of that. And uh, when you're a joke, like you get to really kind of speak whatever you want to say. Also, it's fucking fabulous. The thing I'm most excited for is hopefully the opportunity to perform outside of Colorado. There's a whole world out there that I could be spreading all of my art to, to people who haven't seen what I can do yet. What Evie has to offer me is like a sense of self-confidence because when you, when you put on a dress and heels and makeup, you're so vulnerable. Like you're asking for the world to tear you down and when they don't, or when they don't always, you really learn that like what they appreciate is what you have to give and like what you're providing in any given experience. Evie's just given me a clear understanding of how to be a better person. <laughs>